bit wonky, but you'll do. <laughs> Focus on the cheery guy. There we go, the infant things will work. God, can you imagine if I miss my train? And then it got a bit bloody. But I should not be smiling right now. She, I can't force her to read books just because I want to read it. My face is very close now. Slight mess up. Um, I did not finish the vlog. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to another vlog. I haven't vlogged in a hot minute. It's very strange to do this once again. And it's also quite late. Well, no, it's not. It's, it's, it's 10 past 10 in the evening. It's actually not that late, but you know, that is late. That's late for me now. But I'm starting this vlog on Friday evening because I'm gonna do a weekend reading vlog. Even though it's kind of a busy weekend, I'm going back home for the evening. So not sure how much reading I'm gonna do, but I want to do a lot because I'm in the middle of a book that I love. I feel like it's gonna destroy me, but I can't, I just, I love it. It's so, so good. I'll show you. I'm actually in the middle of two books. So these are the books. I'm going to put you, can I rest you here? Yes. Sorry if you can hear freaking alley outside. There's like a cafe, a restaurant outside, but they're like garden is the alley. So I'm buddy reading this book with my friend Debs, who you know by now. I talk about her in every video, apparently. <laughs> and obviously she was in the video. I'm buddy reading this book with Debs. It is the fourth book in the first law universe or world, but it is a standalone book. So the first law series by Joe Abercrombie is a trilogy. We follow four or four different characters, four or five characters in that book. It's quite epic. It's quite expansive. There's a lot of tangents going on and I did get a little bit lost apparently throughout the way because there's bits in it that I can't remember that kind of like are mentioned in here and I'm messaging Deb saying who is this character that we're talking about here they're talking about this thing she's like no no this happened and this happened and I'm like I missed that bit miss I must have skipped that bit so I think I did get a little bit lost with all the tangents in there but I did really like that series I think I gave the fourth book a four star just because it kind of I don't know I kind of lost my momentum with it a little bit I mean four stars is still incredibly high but this book is incredible I I'm loving it. It's like giving me the same kind of love I had for the first book in that series. I think because the plot's kind of similar. The First Law Trilogy, we follow Logan, who's from the north. He's kind of like thinking, we're thinking like barbarian Viking vibes from Logan and his area. Then we've got in the south, the kind of more modern, high upper class, civilized society is what they're kind of supposed to be. They're not really civilized, but you know, they like to pretend to be. And there we've got quite a few people that we follow. We've got Giselle, who's this pompous, arrogant, rich, thinks he's the absolute bee's knees, but he's actually just a bit of a twat. Then we've got Glockter, who's this cripple who was kidnapped and captured in the last war by the Gurkish, who were the kind of enemy of the series. But he was um, captured by them in the last war that they had and tortured for like months on end. So he's very crippled and very... <sighs> hindered by obviously the mental and physical torments that he went through but he is now a inquisitor for the the ruling people of this thing so basically he makes his living by torturing and getting real and non-real confessions out of people that these rich people want he's quite cynical but very funny to read he's very sarcastic and kind of like pessimistic in a in a funny way <laughs> then you have captain west who is a soldier for the army but it's got a bit of like a <laughs> slight anger issue going on running through there then you've got pharaoh who is from the south she was kidnapped and made a slave by the gurkish so sh her whole like family and everyone she knew was murdered by them so she's got a huge vendetta against the gurkish and all she wants is vengeance she's very ruthless and brutal and kind of very emotionally detached but i really liked her i thought she was a great character so that's the thing that we've got and they kind of come together as a found family and are on this mission ruled by this magic dude called Bayaz, who is an absolute knob. So that's the kind of running theme of the first book. See, I can't really talk about this book without spoiling it. How am I gonna say this? So we have another Northern man who, similar to Logan, wants just to be better in life. He doesn't want to be this brutal murdering brute that he's kind of been raised and was kind of the, the go-to known thing to be in the North. And then we have another girl called, do you know when you just read names in a books, in a books, in books, and you kind of just recognize the name just cause you're kind of reading it, but you never actually pronounce it in your head. That's what I've done with most of these names. M-U-R-C-A-T-T-O is her name, or her, I think it's her surname. Monza is her first name. Let's go with Monza. So we follow Monza who at the very start of the book, she's a high, very popular and successful mercenary. 
and she's been a mercenary for, I don't think he is a king, but he rules a lot of the provinces and he's trying to dictate and make himself a king, is, I think is what's happening. But there is betrayal and it all kind of goes upheaval and she ends up being brutally beaten up and thrown off a cliff, basically. And now she wants revenge. So she's also kind of like a cross between Glockta and Pharaoh, who both are kind of like dealing with their bodies kind of just not functioning how they used to be and in being in constant pain and this driving force and need to revenge and avenge people that they've lost so there's a lot of mirroring going on but it's kind of like a found family story this one so she goes around collecting people that she needs to get her revenge and they go on not heists because they're not stealing anything but they have to kind of like sneak into places and plan and plot and then are gonna murder basically so kind of like almost like the first Mistborn book the final empire that kind of found family heist book they're not stealing anything but they need to get into places which is i love that found family and heist are two of my favorite tropes this is just everything plus it's hilarious you see all the characters from the first trilogy it's brilliant i'm just absolutely loving it i'm having a whale of a time i'm just smiling most of the time that i'm reading this and what walk could you want so yeah i'm loving this but basically what i was gonna go back about 10 minutes to what I was trying to get at. I'm reading two books at the moment, not because, well, I'm actually in the middle of about 20, not gonna lie, but two that I'm focusing on just now is this one and another one that I've got in reserve. The way that me and Debs do our readathons or read-alongs is that we split, I've taken one of the tabs out because I've gone past it, but we split the book into kind of four equal-ish parts and then we'll read it until we get to that point or the first marker and then we'll stop and wait for the other one to catch up. We normally read quite at similar paces, so it's not normally, it's not on like a day or like even like an hour that someone's behind. Also incredibly competitive, so if I know that she's ahead of me, I will not be doing anything until I've at least caught up, if not gone ahead. So it works well for me to keep me reading, I have to say. So I would recommend actually. But yeah, so I've just got another book going because I reached the first tab before her. So I wanted to read another book and I wanted to read something that's completely different. Like I didn't want to read another fantasy that I was going to then cross past or get confused or like muddled with this one. So I picked up this book, which is going to be the Waterstones book of the month for October. It's so up my street. It's non-fiction. So it is a little bit dense. It's taking me a little bit longer to read than I would perhaps read this. Like I read it for an hour and I read like 20 pages. So there's a lot of information in, her in here. It's a lot more dense than kind of the usual reading I have, but it follows a story. I mean, I haven't read the first chapter. It follows a story kind of like, not the Salem Witches Trials, but just before then, of a woman who is accused of witchcraft by her local town and is obviously kind of prosecuted for that. And I think her husband is also prosecuted for the same thing or like for kind of being related and to it. I'm not 100% sure on the minor details. At the moment, all I know, we're kind of just getting the background story, but I think it's gonna be quite good, especially for a nonfiction. I think it's once we get past the first chapter, telling us all about the characters, where they've come from, how they've migrated over to America, what they're doing there, it's going to become more like a history or like a story of this one community, this one couple, this one account of witchcraft and prosecution. So I don't think it'll read necessarily like a dense textbook on history because I don't think I could read that. It's not long. I mean, most of the back of it is notes. So it's only 228 pages. I'm already 20 pages in, 200 pages left. That's 20 pages in 10 days, it's done. So I think I'm excited and I love to know more about this. It's always fascinated me which is in literature and how they kind of are presented and what that means and how it reflects on women. I'm excited to read this one. So this is the other one I'm reading. I'm hoping to make a little bit more progress over the weekend, but probably won't be massively focusing on this one. It'll mainly be this bad boy. So my evening plans for Friday is to pack, which I have not done. I've got a lot of train journeys tomorrow, so going to get a lot of reading done, hopefully on the train. A good like two hours solid train journeys. I need to edit a thumbnail for my video that's coming this week. It should be up by now, which is very exciting. And then I'm going to listen to an audiobook whilst I do that, which is, surprise, surprise, Brandon Sanderson. I'm rereading Way of Kings on audiobook just because I love it. I already had it downloaded, so I didn't need to buy a new audiobook. And you get your money's worth with a Brandon Sanderson audiobook because they're about, I mean, the shortest one of Way of Kings is Way of Kings. Stormlight Archive is Way of Kings. And that's like 30 something hours long. I've got like 18 hours left to go so I'm gonna do that and I'll catch up with you probably in the morning.
should be going to bed because it's now very late and it took me far too long to do that video. How am I going to... I can not uh, use your today. Bit wonky, but you'll do. <laughs> but I forgot that I had this parcel. It's not, it's not books, but it is to do with my reading journal that I'm setting up for next year. Prepared. Basically, I'm doing it now because I want to do it, but I don't want to work on any new spreads. Oh, that's so cute. They send some little love hearts with it. How adorable. So I got this from Cult Pens. This is not sponsored. This sounds like I'm being paid by them, but I don't get paid by anybody. How? They've got such cute little things with it. That's a little paper mark. Paper mark? Paper clip? Paper clip. How cute is that? He's a little, little cheery guy. Focus on the cheery guy. There we go. The infant things are worth. So happy. But I got these. I'm going autumnal themed for my bullet journal. I will be filming it and posting it. Most likely in December though. Although does that help if it's in December? Would you prefer it earlier? Like November time? Because then you've got time to make it in December. If you want inspiration or like something to follow along with. Or just have in the background as you doodle. So I got these Tombow exclusive. I think they're exclusive to Colt pens. Because I couldn't find them anywhere else. So I had to get them on Colt pens. But they've got 15% off I think at the moment. So they're only £20 for all of these pens. Which I feel like for Tombow brush pens is quite cheap so you've got for Tombow you've got the brush pen at the end like that so that's for your calligraphy so like you can do thin lines and then not thicker lines when you're doing it in the air apparently <laughs> terrible demonstration and then you've just got like a normal like tip pen there so yeah I'm excited to see what these colors look like we've got this kind of like mossy earthy mossy green one then we've got these two green ones, which are quite similar, but we've got more of an earthy green and a more of a pastel. Pastel, as the old Americans say. Pastel is how I should have said it. Then you've got this kind of like auburn burgundy red. It looks a lot more red on that camera, actually. But it's more earthy. A nice solid brown and a solid earthy nude, shall we say. Then we've got like a kind of creamy white. It's not quite white. Off-white. Off-white. Let's go for that. And then this like grey-blue, which is quite quite nice actually I quite like that that would be a good bedroom wall color then a really earthy green and then a lovely orange which looks too pale on there it's a bit darker in real life and then a yellow but not like a bright yellow that kind of like a soft yellow and then like a paler brighter brown there so that's the theme of my reading journal that I'm going to go for for next year for all my like yearly spreads that I'll be setting up with like autumn vibes with leaves and stuff like that it's my it's my idea we'll see if it works I'm hopefully filming that this weekend. We'll see, we'll see. But I thought I'd just show you those whilst I had them. morning it is saturday morning about oh wow it's later than i thought it's about 10 past 10 um i still have to pack and my train i think is at half 11 let me just double check god can you imagine if i miss my train 11 50 okay so we've got about an hour that's fine we can do that we can pack in an hour so i just had breakfast and i was reading a little just a little bit more of this book here and it's just it's so it makes you like literally in the space of about three lines i was smiling at a character just because he's like this little like work with numbers and then it got a bit bloody like in about three seconds and I'm just like hmm okay maybe maybe not I should not be smiling right now but it is just so good like I just want to sit and read it forever I'll be really sad when it ends because obviously it's a standalone but I'm not gonna lie I'm not meant to be buying books I'm meant to be reading the books I currently own but I feel like because I've already started this series it doesn't count 
That's how I'm justifying it. So I have ordered literally the rest of Joe Abercrombie's books, apart from his teen series. I didn't order that one. So all the books that are in this world, which is, there's another standalone, no, there's another two standalones, and there's a short story collection, but I already own that one, so I didn't have to order that one. And then there's another trilogy, which I think is a lot later in life than this, but I think it is still set in the same world. And I think they've arrived, but I don't have time to go pick them up before I leave. And obviously then I don't want to carry them around London, so I will not be doing that. Maybe I'll go pick them up on Monday. We'll go do a little mini shopping, shopping trip to finish the vlog off so stay tuned for that i'm so excited to continue reading this i'm gonna read it on the train i've got about two hours on the train to london and then like 30 or so minutes to hometown that i'm going to so yes that is the plan I'm gonna pack now and then read and i'll let you know how that goes my plan also for the weekend is to film if you've watched my reading journal spreads before you'll recognize this journal i do spreads every year and i struggle to continue with them so we'll see but my i do want to try and actually write like doing more of these kind of things which i started and obviously did one for the entire year of 2019 no that's when it was published when did i read it though february yes i did one <laughs> in the whole year of that year but i want to do more kind of of these things where i actually properly read them mainly to be fair because of videos because i realize i'm not very good with doing that in videos and um, my thoughts are a bit scatty a bit of like all over the place so i'd like like to make them a bit more useful a bit more condensed not condensed but like concise and to the point and actually get more interesting thoughts thrown in there rather than me just rambling as i do normally so yes that is the plan to start doing that and actually commit to the journal but i have planned out most of my spreads for the year so like i've sketched them all out and i'm just gonna fill them in for the video and then post that probably november december time that's all i have to say right now I'll catch up with you later. Hello and happy Sunday already. It's already Sunday. Gosh, the weekends go fast. Um, I will be filming tomorrow as well. It's a very long weekend, but I thought I'd give you an update because I didn't finish yesterday on how much I read whilst I was on the train. I feel like being in like a locked container for three hours, I didn't read that much, but like having no distractions. But I did read a substantial amount, two hours, two hours and then half an hour on the train. I should have read more than I did, but I'm, I am quite a slow reader and I find I read Joe Abercrombie quite slow, even though I really love him and I want to, like I'm I am constantly reading him. I just need to read every single word that he says. I can't skim read anything that he says. Don't know why. That's just how it is. So I'm currently on page 306. So I'm almost halfway through the book. It just, it was, it was a ride. There's just so much going on and something quite gruesome just happened to one of our main characters. And I don't know, it's going to have some issues after that. So we'll see how that develops. I don't know how much more of this I'm going to be able to read in the vlog because obviously I'm relying on Debs to catch up now. She's about 30 pages behind me and I can only read another 20 pages before I have to stop. So I've got the train back up today but then I'm working this evening so I'll get to the, the 20 like 321 or 320 is where our next kind of like buddy read stop is. So I will get to that point on the train and then I'll have to move over to the witch's book because I'll have to wait for Debs and then I might have to continue that unless she reaches, unless she reaches 50 pages today, which I don't know if she will. I feel like she could, but she's busy. She's got a life. She, I can't force her to read books just because I want to read it. <laughs> So yeah, so I might have to press pause on this one, which I'm really sad about because I just want to read it all the time. I am loving this one. I'm so much more into this than I was the last book of the series, like the main trilogy. I don't know why, but I am just loving this book so much better. Maybe I'm just getting overhyped for this one, but I feel like I'm liking this one more than I like the first book, which I think is rare. Like, I don't think anyone, I've ever heard anyone say that the standalone is better than the, the series. I know this is definitely meant to be the best of the standalones out there the other ones aren't as good as this one and i can see that because it's a found family and a heist kind of idea it's not exactly a heist but it's that kind of plot arc and you can't really be that in a book for me like you just can't do it this i, I just want to read it all the time but i can't i've got other things to do I just filmed another video which is a book on haul so all those books over there well not the ones in the shelves the ones on the on the bench there my face is very close now are being unhauled i'm putting the hardbacks on depop but the paperbacks i'm going to donate to a charity shop so that was cool i've now got 25 more spaces on my shelf i mean i don't really because they're all doubled up anyway if you can see and then i've got my books from back home as well but that'll be fun so i need to do some bits for that do some bits for work read actually go to work this evening which is 
a right bummer but you know we've got to do what we've got to do but tomorrow it should be more exciting hopefully i might do a little bit of a bookshop i'll vlog that we'll see what we do but yeah exciting very much rate this and i'll let you know obviously i'll have read more of the witch book next time so i'll let you know how that one's going and if it gets less kind of dense and history based see you then So I just got back from going into town. I went to pick up some books and I sat in a coffee shop and I had some hot chocolate and cake, which was delicious. But I've never done that before, like just sat in a, in a cafe and read. And it was quite nice. I did get easily distracted though, because I'm a proper people watcher. So I was like constantly just watching people. So I didn't actually get much reading done. I think I only read like a chapter and a half. But then I went into town and I bought some books because I had quite a lot on, on reserve. They're all Joe Abercrombie. There's a theme to this vlog. And you can tell my obsession. I have ordered them all. I don't think they've all... One hasn't arrived. Either I forgot to order it or it just hasn't arrived yet. But I got basically the rest of his stuff. So for the standalones, we've got he The Heroes and Red Country. I think it goes that one first, then that one. Don't quote me on that one. I'm not 100% sure. Don't know which ones these are about, but I got them. I'm getting lower and lower harder. His next trilogy, I think, is still in the same world, but it's a lot later. But it, that's the last one. So I can't remember if that's the first or the second one. I don't know. So I've got those. So I'm going to make myself a Joe Abercrombie shelf. I'm very excited. Um, some book's going to get kicked off the shelf, basically, because I've got no room. But I'm going to make it anyway. And then I ended up getting, it's not book related, but I ended up getting a couple of autumnal home slash cosy things. I got some new bed sheets just because I only have one bed sheet. I've seemed to have lost the other one. But I got it in this kind of colour and I got matching pillowcases. And then what I was really after was some pyjamas and I got them. And it's, they're so great. They're these ultra soft, like they're so soft. It's crazy, like so nice. They're pale pink stripes. It's the, oh, I'm so excited. So I will be wearing these later on in the vlog when it is pajama time i would put them on now but if i do that then i'm not going to do the rest of the stuff that i need to do today but we've made good progress i filmed a video as you can see the remnants of it there sneak peek of what it is i think i might have actually already told you previously in the vlog what it is so maybe not a sneak peek but there we go did that done some reading my goal is now for the rest of the week i want to finish this book by the end of the week so friday so i need to read at least 68 pages a day but i'm not gonna be able to read much of it tomorrow because i'm working basically the entire day so I'm gonna have to pick up the pace. I think I've already read 50 pages today. I'm gonna try and read another 50 and read a chapter of the witch's book, which I did read a little bit more yesterday. Didn't read as much as I was hoping to on the train because I was tired, so I snoozed instead. The witch's book is good. I think now I've finished, so we've got all the groundwork done. You know, we know who's who, we know how they got there. Basically, everything's been shit for the last few years. They've moved over from England into a new um, New England, which is um, the area of America, um, basically kicked out all the natives and played them basically so that they can make money off them. It still hasn't worked. They're all starving still and life is pretty crap. So basically they've done it all for no reason. None of their animals can eat off the farmland because they don't, they're not used to that grass. So they're having to import grass from England, which obviously is a lot of money and costly and doesn't work. It keeps snowing, it keeps like killing all their crops. So basically they're just they're just not having a great time. So yeah, that's the groundwork is that everyone's kind of on tender hooks, which is obviously and now the the witch hunts have started in England, in Essex. So that's kind of thing gonna like migrate over to the the hunts where they are and this story of this this woman who was accused. So I'm hoping that will get started. My plan is to read one chapter of that a day, hopefully. We'll see how optimistic that is. At least half a chapter, at least a couple pages. So I will make progress every day. Fingers crossed. So yes, my battery is about to die. So I will clock off now and I will catch you up with the rest of the vlog or the end of the vlog later on. Slight mishap. Um, I did not finish the vlog. <laughs> I got completely distracted. Well, I didn't. 
I got invited for dinner around a friend's house instead of cooking my own dinner. So I took that opportunity and I went with it. Which meant that I didn't do anything that I said I was going to do at the end of the last clip. I did not read any more. And I did not read any more of the witch book either. And I haven't read any since then. Did not read a chapter a day. It is now Thursday. But I have made a lot of progress with the blade itself. No, that's not what it's called. Best served cold. I've got about... 150 pages left, I'd say. I think I'm on about... No, about 110. I think I'm on page 550 thereabouts. You know what? Let me, let's go out. We'll see. I bought some more books as well. So I bought the last book that I needed for Joe Abercrombie. So my Joe Abercrombie shelf will be coming imminently. I think I might make a favourite shelf. And then I also bought this. Recommended by a colleague. Heavily recommended. And I've been eyeing it up for a while. I didn't quite realise how massive it is. It's like over a thousand pages long. So I might not be getting it this year. I think I might leave that for like maybe my, one of my first books in the beginning of the year. Start off with the Chunky Boy. So best served cold i am on page 542 and i think there's like four, 660 something 62 pages so i am 120 pages to go so i'm hoping to finish it tomorrow i'm gonna read a bit more tonight finish it tomorrow and then see how it is but it's so good it's so good it is quite gruesome it's got the the abercrombie trait of, you know, skulls being crushed, blood and brains going everywhere. But apart from that's good. There's quite a lot of descriptive sex content in there as well, so if that's something that you do not enjoy or would rather avoid. I mean, you can skip over those parts, I suppose. But yeah, that is also in there, just to let you know. But it's really good. It's so good. I can't wait to read the rest of the series. Honestly, I'm so excited. I just want to read it all. There's a short story collection as well. So I think I'm going to take a break. And my next vlog, I'm going to Italy on Sunday, which I'm very excited about, but also kind of nervous. But it'll be a lot of travel going between places, just going for a week. But I'm going to take with me Maggie Farrell's The Marriage Portrait, because it's set in Florence, and I'm going to go to Florence for a couple days in between that. So that'll be exciting. I feel like I have to take it with me if it's set in Florence. So obviously historical Florence, so not present day Florence, but um, I just love this book. I mean, look at the end pages. I love a good tiger. So yes, I'm gonna take that with me. That'll be the next vlog, hopefully. I'm planning to vlog it. Don't hold me to it though, cause traveling on my, on my, on my own, and I'm not sure how it's all gonna pan out, but fingers crossed, I do make a vlog in some, some time kind of form for that trip as well so yes i'm gonna wrap up hopefully you've enjoyed this video and me vlogging again it's been a good experience i've enjoyed it a lot and i've missed doing it so yes i will see you in the next video very soon and have a good day this is an empire the vampire one and no you won't focus too dark it's too dark for that one. Oh well i'll just put it up on the wall